How you doing? Welcome to Let's Get Stream. Today I'm stringing up a Wilson Clash Pro 100. It's a 16 by 19 pattern uh, with RPM Blast uh, Rough at 57 pounds full bed. It's a uh, this one is a uh, 1.3 uh, millimeter 16 gauge. Okay, this racket has uh, six grommet holes at the throat, so we'll be going in from the grommet, uh, from the throat. And I just verified that the uh, racket is mounted with the uh, Wilson logo up. Seven pounds full bed. I'm using this homemade um, Kushner or whatever you call it with a uh, cork bottle. Put that on there first before attaching the starting clamp. This way it'll protect the racket frame. I used to play with a Clash 100 Pro uh, version one, just like this one, even though this one is called a Pro, uh, the Tour. Wilson had to change its name to the Pro because it had a um, some kind of conflict with a, mu a music band named exactly the same called the Clash Tour, so that made them change the name to Pro. And I really missed that racket. I got it. Um, well, I had a very good deal before they, uh, the price went up before, uh, before the pandemic. I played with it. I tried, I, I had all of the models, the 98, uh, 100, as well as the, um, the Pro. I ended up settling on the Pro and I played with that for a year before selling and uh, getting some something else. And in retrospect, I really miss that racket. It's a very good racket for uh, intermediate, beginner to intermediate player. RA is only 55, so it works very well with polys on the stiffer side, because it, it's a very good complement to uh, without filtering out all those 
I mean, absorbing all the vibrations that you would get from those hard polys. By the time I saw that, all of the, all of my uh, clashes, it was right after Wilson had jacked up the prices to like two hundred seventy nine dollar brand new or something, and that in effect raised the the price of uh, used uh, used clashes as well. So I actually sold it sold it around like a hundred seventy some hundred and eighty and relatively speaking I that might have even made money from it from the sale from the sale. So um if these clashes they were I mean they're on version two now that's a different design it was it's painted all all red and I believe um at least with certain model is if, if not all it has one extra cross so instead of 16 by 19 it's 16 by 20 on those So this racket requires grommet hole skips at the seventh and ninth grommet hole, I believe. So I was saying, um, if price ever goes down, I would absolutely buy the Clash Pro all over again. Really good racket. So we're skipping the seventh grommet hole, going to the eighth grommet hole. Same thing on this side. This is a real thick gauge. I, I told him that, wow, you've got to be a real big hitter to be able to hit with this string. And he's not a small guy, so he'll definitely get durability out of this gauge for sure. When I used to use my Clash Pro, I would string my, my Polys had no more than 50, 50 to 52 pounds and um, And um, I would not use I would never use a 16 gauge. I just couldn't handle it Okay, well this being the last main I'm supposed to jack it up 
about 10 pounds, so that's why I'm redoing it. Jacked it up to over 60 pounds. Once again on this side. Before I tie off, I'm gonna pick the uh, strings. Very good. Say pluck the string. Excuse me for using the wrong word. I always uh, hold the tension of the tied off string before releasing the clamp. This way you're not will retain the most uh, amount of tension. Just good practice. The knot that I'm using is the Parnell knot. As you can see, there's a little bit of slack outside of the frame. That's why it's important to uh, get rid of it by doing one of these forward and backward forward and backward to tighten that up Anybody has tried this German beer? I heard it's uh, pretty common in um, Europe. All right. I can see that this grammar hole over here pretty damaged so I'm gonna see if I can try to help straighten out that grommet hole Should help a little bit. Adding water to avoid using that one. I'm gonna choose to use this one. That's in a much better shape as a tie off for the for the crosses up on the top. So I'm gonna go in from this side because it's always the opposite side.
once again using the cork protect the strings and I'll pull the second string at 57 pounds Gonna pull the first string with the tie off tension, 10% extra added. using a Boston Pro Knot. See how these grommets can get bent out of shape. Is there? Uh, they're on a softer side.
think the cross only requires 17 inches, if I recall correctly. I mean, 17 foot. So I could actually cut out. I'm gonna remove like a foot and a half or something. Two, three, four, five. No, five rods left. One, two. Three, four. Oh, we're cutting it very close. Maybe I shouldn't have cut out those other ones. I shouldn't have shortened it too early. Last four, I would not be pre weaving them.
two. One, two. Oh, we're really cutting it pretty close, but it's okay. Okay, no mistake so far. Okay, luckily I can still reach the tension head. So I'm gonna manually give it uh, six pounds. So let's make it 63. tight enough. Let's try a little bit higher grip. Nope. So I'm gonna have to use the starting clamp over here to uh, use as an extension. Okay, put this section, this will be the section that I pull, like that, and then I'll run this tag in, under, under the two rings. If you put it through above the, the two rings, it's not going to be tight enough. So put it about right there, and I'll just use the... I'll back it up to 57 pounds and I had I have the regular uh, tie up tension put on and we'll pull the tension like that Once again, I'll use the Wilson Pro Knot because this grammar hole looks pretty small yet.
Yeah, this feels this out feels too uh, too light. I need something that's thicker and bigger. So I'm already prepared to do another DIY owl. I bought this big screwdriver the other day. It's much bigger than my existing owl. So I'm gonna cut this end off, grind it down, round it off, round it, round it off just like I did with this one. And then I should have something that's better to work with. I swear to God, these glasses, they give me... They actually... Screw up my vision. Like looking at it from the other side. The other side, it, it was crooked one way and then I flipped it over, it was crooked the opposite way. Does anybody know how to explain that? So I'll call this good for now and I'll make small or smaller adjustments. Against my white shirt, that's much easier. Much easier like this. Like playing a guitar. Well, that's good for now. Thank you very much for watching.